Hi, today we're going to change out freeze plugs, frost plugs, expansion plugs, whatever you call it, we're going to change it out today. Welcome back to DIY on the house. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe um, and we appreciate you watching. So we'll just dive right in. To change the freeze plug, you're going to need a few different things. You'll need a hammer, a chisel or a punch, a, uh, or a screwdriver, a flat bladed will work as well. Um, and a pair of pliers, and then you'll need some Permatex uh, sealant, and of course the freeze plug. Our freeze plug came off of Amazon, and uh, let's get to it and show you how to do exactly how to do it. One thing I forgot to mention is you're gonna need a socket that's actually gonna be just under the, the size of your freeze plug, and that way yeah, the socket's gonna fit inside the cup when you go to press it back in. So we'll go ahead and get started, and uh, go ahead and remove this center freeze plug. I'm gonna tap on it. And it's starting to come out, you can see. So once it starts to come down like that, you'll get a little bit of water, of course. There we go. So as you can see, it has gone at an angle here. It's out, and the main thing I wanted to do was make sure I didn't tap on it so hard that it actually popped inside the engine. Um, there usually is not enough room for it to uh, uh, go inside here and catch on anything. Um, so basically, uh, you would have to actually just kind of pry it out. So, but uh, just make it easy on yourself. Do it nice and easy and just tap it in. Okay, after I removed the freeze plug, I noticed a little bit of a uh, residue left over in here from the old one, which I should have expected. So I'm gonna take a piece of uh, sand, open mesh sand cloth, uh, regular sand cloth will work, and just get rid of that old stuff and just make a nice surface for the new plug to seat into. Nice. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the freeze plug in the uh, in, on the socket, and I'm going to take some Permatex. I'm just going to kind of roll that around that edge right there, where I'm going to be whacking it into the block until we got a nice coating, and just kind of smooth it out a little bit. Make sure we're all good there. So it just kind of leaves the coating like that. Pretty simple. Um, you know, you can order Permatex right off of Amazon. We'll put it on the link. I use the red stuff. It's a high temp and it seems to work pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and insert it into the hole. I'm going to take my hammer, get started. And if it gets off to a little bit of an edge, or I'm sorry, the if it starts to kind of beat in on one side and the other side is still not in, bring your socket over here and just kind of Beat on that side till it starts to seed in. There, starting to level out now. And I'm just going to beat it until. There's a bevel on the flange here. I'm just going to bring it in until it uh, uh, the bevel stops and it starts to straighten out into the block. And that's where I'm going to quit. And uh, so that freeze plug is installed. It's not a big deal. If you have any comments, comment down below, uh, down in the uh, comments section. And uh, we appreciate you watching the video. And uh, thanks for watching DIY on the house.